the reception is. Not real sure how it's going to be out here. Down there is my crab pot. Got a fishing line in the water with a sand shrimp on it. So, hello, Lindsay. Yes, we actually made it to the coast and I'm out here fishing and crabbing. And I've caught these little, I don't know what these fish are. I don't know what these fish are. Um, yes, Garibaldi Pier. That's exactly where I'm at, my friend. Exactly where I'm at. Um, I've caught these fish, they, they kind of look like bass a little bit, but I'm not sure what they are. So, I don't know, but I've caught like two or three of them. You know, Lindsay, I want some crab also. I haven't had any. I had one, but he was super small. So what I want to know is, how's the reception on here? How's it, since I'm out here, I don't know. I've got pretty good reception as far as what my phone's telling me, but I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Can it, how's the, is it clear? Is it all choppy? What's the deal? What is the deal? It's good? Hey, you know what's funny? At my house, it sounds like it's raining. Apparently, at the beach... Yeah, well, it is windy. It, it is definitely windy. I mean, after all, it's the Oregon coast. Of course, it's windy. Um, <laughs> it's always windy here. What's going on, Pete? You know, I'm just hanging out, um, trying to catch some crabs. Well, not, I'm crabbing. How does that sound? Trying to catch some crabs. Um, but yeah, just kind of hanging out. I got a, a pole out here with some, with, uh, some sand shrimp on it. Yes, I will keep the crab because we're actually having mussels. Um, and oysters tonight, and hopefully crab. Hopefully crab. What fly is hot for crabs? I don't even know. I know that I'm using some salmon bones, but yeah, the problem I'm having like with the fishing part of it is um, these stupid little shrimp, sand shrimp, they keep coming off. It's really annoying. They don't give you that many in a container, but all right. I gotta see if this sand shrimp is still on. Let me uh, prop you guys up here. Not gonna be horrible if my phone dropped into the ocean. Um, but yeah, these sand shrimp keep coming off. Then these little like, I don't know what the hell they are. Um, keep taking it. Yeah, hold on one second. Let me just set you guys down right here. I'm afraid I'm going to drop my boat in the water. these 
stupid little sand shrimp. But man, they just, they come off so easy. I wanted to catch something out here, you know? I, I don't know. It's, God, these stupid shrimp. I may have to save these so I have something to eat tonight. Oh, dude, it is so cool. I, um, I've done this a few times, especially the crabbing part of it. Um, the fishing part of it, I've never really done. But, you know, it's, it's just, it's really fun being out here. It really is. Yakking with Sarah, what's happening? Let me get this out here. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, so it's all pretty new. Um, like I said earlier, I had one crab earlier, and uh, Irvin, what's going on? I hope everybody is doing awesome today. I know we're doing awesome. We're at the beach. I figured I'd see if the live thing worked out here. I know the wind is ridiculous, but it's the way it is. Yes, I am on a pier. Um, I appear to be on a pier. Um, I'll kind of show you guys where I'm at here in a minute. See, for all I know, this stupid sand shrimp that I put on here already fell off. I don't know. Um, here, I'll show you guys where I'm at. Oh, the... Kentucky cat man, the water is so cold here on the Oregon coast. All right, so here's where I'm at on this pier. Let's, uh, I think it's okay for me to, I'm not catching any fish, so I'm assuming it's gonna be okay for this rod to sit here. I'll loosen the drag quite a bit, just in case. Okay, let's head down the pier. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I freaking love it here. Um, we'll walk down the pier here. This is a little different than what I normally do. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, we don't get all this in Bend. Um, and I know somebody asked what kind of crab pot. I'm using the square metal one. Probably right. You know, I don't really have to keep an eye on my crab pot. It can sit there for hours. But let's go ahead and walk down to the end here. Wind's starting to pick up. Tide's coming in. It's beautiful. Oh, something happened. Okay. I missed what Sarah said there. Yeah, Sarah, like I said, I'm super new at this. I bought like these little rubber band things to try to keep them on. And that didn't work. But all right, let's head down the pier and I'll show you what's going on down here. There's other people that have their crab pots in and they just leave. But I don't like to do that. All right. I love the fact that there's somebody on here that's been here. It's definitely a lot deep. Oh, yeah, I can see, kind of see where the kelp beds are. Of course, this is the way the wind's blowing right at me, of course. So you can see, like, there's some, like, pipes and stuff. Um, kind of. The water is kind of dark right now. But 
That's where the perch are, huh? All right, it's time to go get the rod. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna have to cast into the wind, but I have like a one ounce weight on, so it should be. Fun. All right. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Yeah, just kind of hanging out, you know. It's pretty cool out here. Really having a good time. Really having a good time. Been beautiful. The wife's out with her camera taking pictures. And I'm out here fishing. So it's it's actually a ton of fun. Guys, just talk amongst yourselves while I'm trying to figure this crap out. We're catching a lot of vegetarian cuisine today. Okay. Let's get let's get our sand shrimp and head down to that spot. Do I have loops on my hooks? No. I don't. No loops. Uh, hold on, my phone's gonna fall. Okay. Sorry, I'm not super organized. figure out how to get it to stay tight. I do have magic thread though. The lady at the store said I needed to buy some. You know, you're giving me all this advice. Why don't you just get your tail over here? <laughs> Yeah, these little fish, I don't even know what they were that I was catching. I didn't even know I had them on the hook, so they couldn't even, I don't know. That's it? An hour and a half? Come on! Why don't you be here tomorrow? Show me how it's done. I'll buy you dinner. Very nice. Yeah. People down here, they've caught a few crabs. 
crabs, nothing really, not really any keepers, but. <laughs> no indicators. Oh. All of them? Yeah. Yeah, well the tide should start coming in pretty soon. So they might get a little bigger after the tide comes in. Yeah, I've had pots that were just stuffed and no keepers. Yeah, yeah but that's the way it is. I mean, it's still fun. Okay. All right. We're going to try this again. Well, tomorrow sounds good to me. I will be here. I'm leaving Sunday morning. So, hey, I'm here, buddy. I am here. Okay, I'll set you guys down again. I may even be using the wrong hooks. I didn't even think about that. I'm using the hooks that I use for bass fishing. I have some regular worm hooks also for trout, but I'm using uh, like a regular bass fishing hook. That may not be the right hook to be using. I don't know, but if I am using the wrong hook, please let me know, please. Um, Pop, I'm targeting any fish that will bite. That's what I'm targeting. Any fish that will bite. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, if it'll bite, then that's the one I'm targeting. Now we're fishing in a different spot with the hopes of a perch. Well, that's my, I'm not a saltwater fisherman by any means, so just going for it, you know? What can you do? Yeah, you'll have to bring one tomorrow. Open season, you'll have to bring one with you tomorrow. Um, like I said, you'll have to teach me. Sure is beautiful out here though. This is crazy. It's insane. Here. Look at this. I mean, come on. I love being in the river, but this is God, it's so beautiful out here. So beautiful. There's the Coast Guard right there. The Coast Guard. Yeah, there's a chance that my bait isn't even on there anymore. <laughs> there's a really good chance. <laughs> Those sand shrimp, man, they 
they come off so easy. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right. Let me see something. Here. I got snagged on something and lost my hook. Son of a... Oh, almost left my shrimp. Steal my shrimp. Nobody wants to send me money. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, someone could send me some money for uh, some saltwater fishing lessons. Definitely be getting some video of him running around on the beach. Probably this evening. We'll take him down. He's never been to the beach before. Okay. Whew. All right. Yeah, I'm out here. Fishing for or crabbing and all that with my Tinkara shirt on. Okay, let's set this rod down for a little bit. Let's see if we have any crabs in the pot. Let's see here. I don't know how easy I'm going to be able to do this with one hand. All right. And set you guys down again so I can look in the pot here. One second. Oh, we got a crab in the pot. Let's check it out. There is a crab in this pot. Second. He's not very big. He's definitely not a key. Okay, here we go. Get you guys turned around here. We got a crab in the pot. There he is. You know, I'm not very good at this either. Honestly, I'm always afraid they're gonna pinch me. Like that one, he rolled over all crazy. Oh, he's kind of working himself my way. <laughs> okay. Crab on. Yeah, he's too small. So we're going to throw him back. There we go. All right. Look at that. How many... It's a Dungeness Crab, is what it is. Dungeness Crab. 
bunch of this crap. Right, let's put this pot back in the water. Okay. Open season. Hopefully you can make it tomorrow. The life of a crab man, exactly. I'm doing so I'm just being busy. Are you guys fishing or crabbing? Or both? Yeah. I've caught these fish that they look like sucker fish but they're I don't know I've only caught a couple of them. Yeah. Bullheads? So a catfish? Uh, Technically? They're in the catfish family, oh they're in the catfish they're family? Oh because my goal this year was to catch I'm a fly fisherman my goal this year was to catch a catfish. So technically, did I? No. Damn. <laughs> Man. I gotta keep trying, huh? <laughs> I had one just now, but it wasn't very big. I don't know how to... I've never fished out here, so... Yeah. I'm actually live right now, but... I don't have you guys on. Um, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know if you guys wanted to be on video or whatever. So, not unless you're wanted by the I law think, or anything. Let me tell you something. I have no idea what the hell I do. I crab a lot, but I crab from a boat. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, this is all new to me. It's super cool. It's so nice out today. Um, I've only seen it on like YouTube and stuff is all. Yeah. Watch that Oriental guy on YouTube. That's a crab. No, I just watch whoever. I'm not, you know. Whoever pops up. Whoever, whatever pops up for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. That's all right. You're fine. I mean, I'm not going very fast. I was trying to use sand shrimp, but they just keep coming off. Yup. <laughs> yeah. got multiple hooks going on. I was only using one. one hook, fine. And then a slide sinker. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh, do you? Well, you should check out my channel. I live in Bend, and I do a lot of fly fishing out there. So, 
Lots of fly fishing in Bend. What's your channel? Uh, the Life of a Fly Fisherman. Oh, check it out. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of my other people that I have subscribed to my channel have awesome channels. Yeah, a lot of catfish and bass and really cool channels. I say that because most of them are watching right now. So <laughs> oh, now they're laughing at us. So. Yeah. Yeah, we drove over here. My wife's dad lives here, so we uh, drove over here for his birthday. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we just we just live in Bend and Well, we love it over there. So completely different than here. Oh, absolutely. A little it's really green compared to where we live. A lot of brown yeah. where we live. <laughs> we were up at uh, Pine Hollow. Uh huh. It's about 10 miles from Moffin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure what kind of fish I could catch out here or anything. I... You're, you're probably going to catch bullheads. Yeah, I've already caught a few of those. Yeah, they're not very big and they don't. Sculpins, they are something like that. They look like catfish. But yeah. But see, I can't count it as a catfish this I, year. I don't think so. Uh, I, I wish I. In fact, is. I years, probably caught the rarest catfish ever. It's many, probably what I did. Many years ago, like uh, 50, I was. Uh, I had a market for those things. Oh yeah. Little things. It was in California. Me and another guy had a market. We had. Uh, we had a net. Oh yeah. They use them for striper bait, so they want them alive. And surprisingly, you can catch those things. If you can transport them in the water, they'll die. They, they, they pump them in the head to die. But you can freeze the damn water solid, and when it thaws out, they're still alive. Oh my gosh. Huh. I'm gonna go see if I have any more crab. You let me know if you catch any fish, because then I'm gonna have to go buy some clams. I'm supposed to be eating the clams, but I'll use them for bait. You got a freezer full of clams? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was using like a bass hook, like a circle hook, and they were just the whole thing. They weren't screwing around. I thought, should I just use one of those for bait? Need some? You got, <laughs> I don't know if it gets any colder, we'll get it cold. Maybe. I don't know if I could fly fish those ponds. I heard they stop them. But trout, I wouldn't mind getting, taking my fly rod out there. Because I know there's like a camp right there, but I think if you fly fish towards the road, 
They can't say anything, no. right? Maybe I got a lobster. You never know. That's the one. All right. Thank you. All right. You know, that was super exciting. Huh? It's kind of cool meeting new people and all that stuff. All right. Let's get back here and check this pot. Now, I haven't totally given up on the fishing thing, but I'm going to wait a little bit. The tide's going to come in. It's on its way in right now. We got the quality seven here right now, so that's cool. Oh, this feels heavy. Um, we got a good one. Just look at the ground. See. Oh, he's too small. Yeah, he's uh Sorry the sun. I know it's the sun. Okay, let's put this thing back in. You know, open season. never sit on my channel all right Jake have a good one man thank you very much for stopping by I appreciate it but I figure this is definitely something new for my channel definitely something new You can, uh, okay, you got a pen and paper?
let me know when you're ready. All right, 541. 